Welcome to The Bark, Episode 7. Uh, this is the start of a new week. Uh, it's February 13th, and as always, I'm your host, Ken Polk, with Cameron Page, Colby Bunce, and today we have the head boy soccer coach, Coach William Cowart. Uh, how are you feeling? I feel good. I feel good. Ready. Excited. Great. All right, so today, day, you have uh, your second or first home game? Uh, this is our second. Second home game, that's right. Um, and you guys play Stratford, correct? Correct. All right, so how have you guys prepared for this matchup? Uh, really just focusing on us right now. Um, just trying to get better uh, every day. Um, not really super into, like, scouting so far in, in these non-region games. Just really just focusing on us and us getting better. Um, who, What's going to be the main component to create this win for you guys? Uh. Most definitely our, our touches on the ball. Our touches on the ball, keeping the ball close to us and not losing it. You know, we're playing we're playing kids that are in Macon private school that play year round. So our touches gotta be on point so we can maintain some possession. Um have you guys have have you guys worked to make those touches better? Uh just touch specific drills, touch specific uh, position, you know, stuff like that. Just uh working practice wise on you know, one touch, two touch, three touches, When how that relates to passing, how that relates to playing a through ball into somebody trying to score, um, just working on uh, game-specific scenarios in, in that in that regard. So good stuff, man. Good stuff. I use cones and everything. It's awesome. Uh, what what uh, what formation are you guys going to be running tonight? <laughs> man, I don't know if I, if I want to reveal that uh, thus far, but we're going to have some defenders, some midfielders, <laughs> and some attackers. <laughs> okay, hey. That's, how about that? That's good stuff. All right. Um, so – for our viewers, um, you guys can see that he's a little bit higher dressed than we are today. Um, Most definitely. And you also make all of your players dress up on home games as well, right? Right. Okay, is there a, a rhyme or reason for that? Oh, Ken and Paul, there's a rhyme or reason for everything that we do. Um, rule, uh, reason number one, you know, we're growing up. You get you kids are growing up, so we're trying to get my guys to, to – to look sharp, to have to be in a situation where they have to dress up because as they progress in life, they're going to have to learn how to dress up. They're going to have to learn how to tie a tie. You know, they're going to have to wear these types of clothes. So it helps us grow up a little bit in, in, in our steps to becoming men, you know. And then second reason is everybody knows, like, oh, must be a home soccer game today, man. Freaking, we're dressed up, man. We're even kids. So two reasons. All right. Um, Students get in free for this game, correct? Oh, yeah. And then when do the boys kick off? 7.30. Those are at 5.30. I'll shout out to the girls, Coach Green. They're doing a good job as well. So. Good stuff. Um, so this program, I mean, this is like your second second year coaching. Um, how do you plan to build up this program from where you're starting? You know, um, great question. This is year two for me as the head boys coach. Um, and uh, – Last year had eight seniors, so year one coming in with eight seniors, that's, that was a challenge because I had to get them to buy into what I wanted to do because they were some used to something completely different. Okay, So we laid a really good foundation last year, won more games that they had won before um, in, in a season. Still not where, what you want, but a, a step forward and laying a foundation as far as being disciplined and the, the culture of Jones County you know, boys soccer. So now this year it's almost like – it's a fresh start, but with a good foundation because we're so much younger this year. We've got multiple freshmen and sophomores starting, you know, that maybe maybe shouldn't really be starting, but they're starting out of necessity, so we're growing up fast, right? So, But we have that culture and that foundation as far as, you know, being disciplined, being on time, starting practice on time, wearing the right stuff. You know, I don't have to worry about stuff like that with my guys, which is a, which is a – Really, really big blessing because my juniors last year that are seniors, man, they they are they are really, really good about being leaders and, and making sure everybody's on point, you know, with the with the foundation that we set last year. So, from a playing standpoint, we're starting fresh, right? It's it's a little bit of a rebuild, but from a culture standpoint, we're at a really good spot. All right, well, that sounds good. Uh, anything you want to shout out before we uh, close this off? Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll uh, shout out my assistant coach, you know, Coach Fowler, as he's watching my third period as well as I do. He's always got my back in the classroom and, and on the field. So he's he's my belt loop guy, always pulling me back, making sure I don't say something I shouldn't say, you know, whether that's in the classroom or on the field. So 
Perfect. I'll shout out my guy, Coach Fowler. That's perfect. I do appreciate you coming out and uh, joining us on The Bark. Yeah, man. Uh, this has been The Bark, and I appreciate you all listening.